Hi everybody, welcome to the Dive Brief. So in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down five of my favorite wetsuits for 2021. This was quite an interesting year when everything was kind of slowing down and uh, sort of new stuff wasn't being released because of, you know, last year and everything. But actually some quite interesting stuff came out for 2021. So for exposure protection, now that things are starting to get a little bit colder out in the water, cause we're coming into uh, the autumn season, Let's take a closer look at five of my favorite wetsuits for the end of 2021. First up, we have the Aqualung Escape wetsuit. So this one is a little bit different, not just in the, the looks, but actually in how it's made. So this is made from Ulex neoprene. So although Ulex neoprene is kind of, it isn't neoprene, it's a neoprene alternative. It's actually a plant-derived foam. So it's an alternative to neoprene that actually grown instead of refined from oil or petroleum but in that it's incredibly flexible as well a lot of people have reported that actually it's incredibly warm as well compared to traditional neoprene so this could be the way that a lot of wetsuits actually turn to instead of petroleum based they're going to change to these plant-based alternatives because they're stretchier but if we can uh, sort of trust what people have been saying about it they're incredibly warm as well. And this is just a four mil as well. Most of the panels are four mil thick. We have three mil panels as well. That's nothing new. We've had that in wetsuits uh, for a long time now. So they're underneath the armpits and whatnot. So you don't get too much bulk under there, but it's incredibly flexible. Big open panels mean that it stretches. So it's that kind of halfway between a surfing wetsuit and a scuba diving wetsuit, but in that it's four mil thick and people were saying that it's just as warm, this could actually be the future of wetsuits as we know it. And it isn't a traditional black wetsuit. It's, it's got some funky sort of olive green and red details all over it. Next up, sticking to a similar eco-friendly theme, we're going to the Apex Thermic 8.7 wetsuit. So this is actually technically a semi-dry, I guess, and as the name suggests, it's eight mils thick, but it's again, incredibly environmentally friendly, which a lot of our wetsuits are going down. Instead of being plant-based, this is actually limestone-based and it's technically chloroprene, which is derived from the calcium carbonate and clever science. And they, they basically turn a stone into a foam insulating material. But everything about it from dope dyed yarn as well is just environmentally friendly. All of the glues and such, they're, they're not solvent based, they're, they're water based. I don't know how that works, but it does. And again, incredibly flexible compared to the older neoprene wetsuits that we're used to, which are really kind of restrictive after a while, especially for something eight mil thick. This one incredibly flexible. Built in hood, so that again is keeping you nice and warm. You have that sort of internal baffle. Is it a baffle I'd call it? The, the thing that goes over your neck. So you get this second section of neoprene underneath. You get the front chest zipper, which is a dry zip. So that's really slowing the water down on the inside, a really thick internal lining, which is keeping you nice and warm. Thigh pockets as well. You don't see too many thigh pockets on wetsuits, but when you do, they are a god and they are so useful. If you're diving in cold, cold waters and you don't fancy dry suits, or if you're going for longer dives, then it's definitely worth checking out the Thermic. Next up, we have the fourth element surface wetsuit. So this is on a similar tack to the, the first suit, that Xscape. This is made out of Ulex material, so plant-based, but this is more designed for, as the name suggests, sort of surface water sports. So whether it be snorkeling, free diving, granted free diving spends a lot of time under the surface, but it's it's less to do with scuba diving, more to do with snorkeling as it were. But four mil thick, just as stretchy and as warm apparently. And again, it's not just a boring black, it's that kind of navy, almost not quite royal blue, is kind of a, a smart blue color instead of just the standard black. But one other thing that makes it very different is the C zipper. 
So instead of a great long zipper straight down your spine or across your chest or somewhere across your shoulders, it's just a small little discreet zipper just across the front of your chest. You get a second flap underneath it and that again is quite easy to get in and out of and it doubles up the kind of the seal around your neck to kind of slow the water down. But reduce the zipper because the zipper itself is the most inflexible section of a wetsuit. So if you can minimize that, then it's much more comfortable. Again, with the water-based glues and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, a lot of people are really rating this Ulex neoprene alternative as just as warm, but nice and flexible as well. Back to more traditional scuba diving wetsuits, we had the fourth element, Proteus 2 5mm. So this is the kind of the golden standard as far as wetsuits. A lot of people consider it probably one of the best, if not the best 5mm wetsuit out there. And that's because of the, the small little touches to it. So very subtle design, but decent detailing all over it. But they, they're not just there for cosmetics, they actually have a practical use. So all the detailing over the shoulders, on the knees as well, it's just reinforcing the wetsuit for where your BCD is going to be attaching. And underneath the zipper, just a single straight back zipper, you have another one of those flush guards. Instead of just a single panel of neoprene just sitting underneath the zipper, you actually have a full on panel that goes over your head and that has a cut out for your neck so this kind of entire built-in bib on the inside of the wetsuit just helping to slow that water down so when you jump in you don't tend to get that trickle down the cold of your back it's uh, it takes a long time for that water to actually migrate its way in and by the time it does it's actually warmed itself up so again nice and flexible and yeah very smart designs the proteus 2 i think was going to be in the lineup for a long long time and finally, the Bear Revel wetsuit. So again, this is a 5mm wetsuit. 5mm is that good all-rounder for a decent uh, sort of water temperature range. But the Revel itself is one of those wetsuits that when you compare it side by side to another wetsuit, you realize just how incredibly flexible that neoprene is. And that has a few benefits for the divers, mainly for getting in and out, because even though it might not be the exact correct size for you, you can still get in and out of it and still feel pretty comfortable. Compared to a lot of the old neoprene wetsuits, you'd know if it was too small or, or too big. But this one, because it has that stretch, it allows you to get in and out really easily. And then when you're actually in the suit, you have plenty of flexibility to move around. All of the little details, like the, the internal cuff seals as well, they're helping keeping you nice and warm because that always used to be a trade-off between flexible suits but they're, they're nice and stretchy so you can reach and do whatever you want but actually for keeping you warm you wanted something a little bit stiffer that could actually sort of restrict the water flow so it's not flushing in and out but nowadays the neoprene can actually do both and the revel shows it off perfectly so all of these are available from our website, simplyscuba.com. There's gonna be links down in the description below so you can check them out. Uh, for most of these, there are men's and women's versions, obviously. Uh, the Revel, the women's version is called the Elite, um, but for most of them, it's just the female version of the Proteus. But yeah, those are five of my favorite wetsuits for 2021. Let us know down in the comments below what your favorite wetsuit is and why. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.